Good afternoon, people of Parramatta. God bless you all. It's a wonderful day. We thank God for this beautiful weather. We thank God that you're here to listen to the words that we have to bless you with. And today I just want to read some scripture from Romans and encourage you to make Jesus and focus on Jesus. I'm speaking to lots of Christians who, uh, who are out there doing good works, doing good things out of love for their community and for their churches, but I'm asking you to change your perception and, and whatever works you do, do them for God and put Jesus first in everything that you do, then God will count them worthy. Now in, in Romans 4, Abraham was justified by faith. 4.2 it says, for if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. So if you're doing good works, when you go to your judgment, you're believing because you, you believe in God and you love God and you've done these good works that you should get to heaven. But you've got to realize Unless you're doing the good works for God, that work won't be accountable to you. If you're doing it for the church or, or a feel-good thing, that's, that's for you. It's not for God. And you won't be able to boast about being a good Christian because of your good works. It's all about love and where you stand with God. And in 3 it says, For what the Scriptures say, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And it was written in Romans 10, 3, 10, There is none righteous, no, not one. But I can give you new hope through Jesus Christ, and by his blood, and through his sacrifice, do you know every person that receives Jesus as their Lord and their Saviour, and acknowledges the works of the cross and his death, and his sacrifice, we are made righteous through faith and by the blood of Jesus. So there's a hope for you to come into the family, come into the kingdom through the blood of Jesus Christ. But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. All of us, because of the first man, Adam. And it says, the curse of sin is death. And it says here, everyone falls short of God's glory because of sin. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. And in Romans 4, 7, 8 it says, And this is a blessing if you believe and receive Jesus. Make Him your Lord and your Saviour. It said, Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven. So your sins can be forgiven. If you come and repent, come before God, say you're sorry. Repent of your sins. He'll forgive you. The Bible says that God's true to forgive. And all you need to do is look up to God and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. It's really that simple. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. And in Romans 5, 8, 7 it says, But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. But much more than that, having now been justified by the blood, we shall be saved. So you repent, accept the, the work of the cross that Jesus died for you. <coughs> accept him as your Lord and your Saviour. And it says, by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God 
through the death of his son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So through repentance, reconciliation between you and God, through repentance and acknowledging Jesus that he died for you and that he shed his blood for you, you can be saved. So your salvation, your hope, rest on the name of Jesus Christ. Your righteousness, which enables you to come into the family, is accounted to you, accounted to you not from works, but through the blood of Jesus Christ. So I'm asking each and every one of you, I'm going to share a quick prayer. It's a sinner's prayer. It's a prayer of repentance, a prayer of accepting and acknowledging that Jesus died on the cross, that he shed his blood for you, that he paid for your sins, so that you can be reconciled to God, walk in the righteousness of Jesus, and be adopted into the fa God's family. It's the only way you're going to get to heaven when you die, when you go to your judgment. If you're not walking in the righteousness of Jesus, and you haven't accepted him as your Lord and your Saviour, you haven't been adopted into the family, you won't get to heaven. Because in John 3.3, 3, Jesus specifically said that you need to be born again spiritually. It's a gift from on high, where God sends the Holy Spirit in power to help you with your daily walk, to communicate with him. And it's, that's the time, the very moment that you receive your salvation, when you're born again. So just say this prayer with us, please, and say it out loud. Don't worry about the people around you. It's a prayer between you and God. I'm just inviting you into the family, inviting you to receive Jesus, inviting you to be reconciled with God and receive your salvation now. It's your miracle today. Receive your healing. Receive your, a new life in Jesus Christ. Please share this prayer with me. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me, that he was crucified. He rose again from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. And in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the love of God, your healing, and the Holy Spirit. Receive that now in the name of Jesus. Welcome into the family. God bless you all.